Hey guys, what's up? This is Two Thumbs Pete, and I'm here with my girlfriend Amy. Thank you for joining Hi. me. Hi! Oh, you're welcome, it's my apartment. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true, hi. Huh? <laughs> Thank you for letting me be here. Oh, so, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're playing Mega Man 2.5D today. This is a fan-made game that takes a little bit of all the 8-bit Mega Man games, puts them together, and kind of adds a stereoscopic 3D effect to it that's really cool. Um, for anybody interested, I'm using the DualShock 4 right now, playing this in Windows. It's one of my favorite controllers. Uh, this is the 4.0 update, this one's specifically 4.0.1, and so we're gonna play through the stages that are new to this, which are Starman and Pharaoh Man. So, so then the ones with uh, question marks, those will become levels at a later date? Yes, yeah, they're still working on it. Um, the team that's doing this actually has a, uh, they've got kind of a time frame of when it's gonna be done. I believe it's, uh, mid-2015 sometime. Well, fantastic. Yeah, and see, right in the beginning here, you will see, it's just, it's 2D, you can kind of see some 3D on that purple block right there, then when you walk forward, you get this awesome kind of upwards panning. I love that. It's subtle, but it looks so good. Well, it really becomes clear why it's only two and a half D. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Oh, you cracked me up. It's... Yeah, yeah that, this, was, <laughs> that was... That was a real zinger, that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this, is, this is not Mega Man Legends. This is not a... This is not a 3D Mega Man game. So. Although, eventually... I, I don't remember where in this level it is. You, you, you do get a much better sense of a third dimension. You do, yeah. And we will definitely see that. Oh, here oh, it goes. Yeah, here we go. You oh, ready for this, guys? What? Am I gonna die? Am uh, I gonna die? No! Oh. oh, look at that. I never get tired of that. Uh. But the one thing you gotta be careful about is if you go back, you actually can die. It will not turn back. Yeah. So... Mega Man can only do corners once. Or That's true. Proto Man, in this yes. case. Oh, see, I'm teaching you well. Yes, I'm, Amy, Amy I'm is learning. not. Amy is not a side scroller player. I I could not get her to play Super Meat Boy. It was a sad day. Well, I've watched it and I've listened to you curse and scream. And <laughs> the months you spent depressed trying to finish levels. And you didn't so want that. So when you hand me that controller, <laughs> I don't know if it just it doesn't seem like the right choice to start playing. Well, I guess that's fair. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of the old Mega Man games have that uh, difficulty also that you just you don't jeez oh, you just don't <laughs> get them in games anymore. Uh, I mean, a lot of games nowadays really like to hold your hand. Ooh. Man, you're getting just <laughs> lobbed by potatoes. That's okay, space potatoes. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, one of the reasons I like going back to older Mega Man games like this, even though this one's fan made, is because. It retains the difficulty and the challenge that you just don't get in games anymore. Uh, a lot of the times games nowadays really, really hold your hand. I mean, if you noticed, unlike 90% of what's released nowadays, this did not immediately start out with some kind of tutorial level with a, uh, a picture of the controller on the screen and yeah. stuff like that. None of, none of that mamby-pamby stuff like a storyline or an <laughs> yeah. introduction to the character. Well, there, there was a storyline, oh. but I think I skipped it. <laughs> so, oh, so oh, you, oh, oh! I don't know what that was. Did you get eaten by the side of the screen? I Honestly, I think that probably is what... Oh, oh I can use my energy tank now, though. Well, that's good. Is it empty? Why is it black up there? I've, oh, now I'm concentrating on the wrong things. <laughs> but anyway, uh, as you're no doubt seeing in that flying segment, the use of the subtle 3D is really good. We had, like, beams coming in front of us, and it just it looks really cool. And I actually went back and played uh, one of the NES Mega Man games recently, and I was kind of missing... Yeah, see, like that. I was kind of missing these effects. <laughs> You're kind of missing those things in your face. Yeah. yeah. No, it's... Well, it reminds me of when I had that laptop with the 3D screen. Oh, yeah. I mean, that would have been especially terrifying. I would I would love to see them add an update for something like that. Oh, oh yeah. Geez. I would love to see them add an update for that. Look at that debris just going forever. Yeah. It is some nice, nicely hey. animated debris. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, you won't see it in this video, but, um, there is a co-op element to this game where the creators designed all new stages specifically for two people, 
Uh, it's very, very, very well done. I haven't played the new stages just yet, but I plan on doing that soon, and I'll definitely put that up. But, yeah, see, like that, I can't get over that. I just, I love that effect. Gosh, I love a beam in the face. <laughs> I do, no, I do, though. No, I, mean, I know. Okay. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm joshing you. Oh, I know. I'm teasing at you. I don't, I don't expect you to, like, find a beam and, like, throw it in my face or anything. <laughs> Oh. Although I wouldn't put it past you because I did say I love that. So. Oh. Alright. Back in business. Back in business. Okay, yeah, these arrows will dictate how high you can jump. So you can... Starting to, starting to hit the peak right up there. Uh, if I'm not in any of the arrows, but if I'm the blue ones, I just immediately just hit my head. Oh, I love this. I love... I grew up with Mega Man. I still love it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now, okay. Uh, something I'm curious about are the 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 baddies here. Yeah. Are these taken from other Mega Man games? Um. Yes, I believe they are. Do they um, have like a canon to them? Do they have names <laughs> and backstories, uh, occupations, and families? Uh, probably not. They're oh, robots. Okay. Well. This is one of those games you have to you don't have to feel any guilt that you're just slaughtering everything. Yeah. They're robots. But um no they are Well, <laughs> you are wasting resources. That that's true. <laughs> that's true. And I am wasting eggs every time I shoot that's at them. That's true. But um <laughs> because these robots hate anything. That's true. Yeah, that's it's eggs. food. Well, it's food in general. Oh, I've okay. never seen one eat. <laughs> We're tackling the hard questions today. <laughs> I don't know, I'm sure on YouTube there's gotta be videos of it and it's gotta be creepy. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, but no, they actually, they do have names, uh, no backstories for the minor ones. Uh, they do have names, and I believe, I mean, it's been a while since I've played them, but uh -huh. since these bosses were taken from old Mega Man games, yes. I believe they are taking the enemies from the stages of those old Mega Man games. Okay. So I believe they're keeping the worlds together. I don't think they've created any um, oh, any uh, oh. minor enemies yeah. for this game. So it, it's kind of thematically consistent. Yeah. Okay. Like the, uh, what is it? Those octo octopus guys we were seeing in yes. uh, Splash Woman's stage, uh -huh. they w shoot that those ink balls that turn you black if they hit. Then those oh, yeah. those uh -huh. guys were definitely in uh, Mega Man 9. Oh my goodness, I am sucking it up right now. One more hit oh. and I'm dead. Um, there actually, there was a glitch in version 4.0 that they actually fixed, where at right about this point, because Starman doesn't have much life left, yeah. um, it would be impossible to kill him. Oh, fantastic. Because his shield would just cut. yeah, there we go. Yeah. His shield would just kind of get glitched inside of his body. <laughs> and it would never go away, and the only way you could hit him... Man, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> the only way you could hit him is... would. If, hey, it's not Proto Man. Well... <laughs> the only way you could hit him before they fixed the glitch was you would have to basically stick your arm cannon into his body gotcha. and fire just to like, get it into his sprite. So, Which, you know, that's kind of cool in, in its way. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I mean, you could still you could still beat him, I guess, but I mean, yeah. it was ridiculously hard. Gotcha. Um, anyway, here's Pharaoh Man stage. I haven't played this one much. I've played Star Man stage a ton. But uh, this is another one of the new ones added in 4.0. So now, uh, this is probably a good point at which to talk about if someone were interested in this game, how do they get it? Yes, um, I will put the link in the description of the video, uh, you can just click on there, and there are a couple different, uh, places to download it from, you got Google Drive, they got OneDrive. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, nothing. Okay. Peter hosts the file. What? <laughs> what? I mean, oh, see how flustered and distracted and happy I got? Uh, no, uh, yeah, I've, I'm the one that hosts the uh, OneDrive link. I just, when I saw this, I... The website originally only had one of those websites you link to where you've got to wait in line, the queue oh, and everything, yeah. and th I thought this was way too good for something like that, and I just really kind of wanted to help them out, and OneDrive is free, yeah, as is Google Drive and just a bunch of other file hosting places now. 
so... Well, you oh. are... Oh. You're doing a service to the Mega Man fan community <laughs> all over the world. That is why I get up every morning. <laughs> you know, despite the fact that I have to do literally nothing now that it's hosted. <laughs> yeah, but if, see, if you look back here, it'll rotate, and now there are spikes back there. Oh. So, once it rotates, you... Trixie. Yeah, once it rotates, so you can't really go back. So, they ensure that there is death in all dimensions. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's that button up there again. I forgot to try to get that. Oh. Oh. Well, we might, we'll have to do that later. I've never actually gone that path. Because... Oh, yeah. I remember you playing this part and me thinking that those things were bowling balls. And then being incredibly surprised. <laughs> when they weren't. <laughs> yep. <laughs> If I were a mad scientist, I would build bowling ball robots. I think there are more ridiculous things in this game than that. I don't know what you're talking about. Just let me concentrate while I'm <laughs> killing this legless ladybug head. Uh-huh. No, they do kind of look like bowling balls. Oh, thanks. Defective bowling balls without balls. Oh, yeah. jeez, this guy. But yeah, see, like, if I remember correctly... I believe those enemies were in the original Pharaoh Man stage. I mean, somebody okay. correct me if I'm wrong, but... And I'm sure they will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe they are the original enemies from the original game. Well, fantastic. Yeah, no, I mean, they did a really good job, and a lot of this... Oh, boy. <laughs> a lot of this stuff, a lot of the update stuff, ended up just being little tweaks that were really cool. Like, they changed... Uh, the cyan part of Mega Man's body to look more like Mega Man 2, and they changed the slide speed and distance to be more like the originals, and they've they've paid attention to the Mega Man franchise a lot more than Capcom has recently. Hey, Capcom, if you're watching this, <laughs> I, I would love to see more official Mega Man games, but, you know, at the same time, I say that, but I also don't... Ooh, I don't know if I would actually want to see um, a Mega Man that is not made by Inafune. Um, that's why I'm so excited about Mighty Number no. 9, because he's on board with that. So, Also, actually, I said they didn't make any original enemies in this game, but I don't remember if this guy was in the original one. Yeah, I, I would say he looks different. Yeah, from the rest of the game. Yeah. I, yeah. Ah! Ah! <laughs> yeah. One of these days, we're gonna have to play something that you actually enjoy playing with me. So I'm not, oh, like, that's fine. Making you There's... sit here and watch these things. <laughs> You're totally okay. I. There are a ton of things that we can play that I don't know. I know more about. I suppose. Yeah. Uh, but this is fine. Okay. Jump shoot, oh, jump shoot. shoot. Oh, I get there it. He goes. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just so satisfying, though. Yeah. It's like I think we were we were having this conversation about like oh. why is mm -hmm. or why are side scrollers like so appealing? Why is right. jumping and shooting so good? Yeah. Um, I don't necessarily think it's the shooting part. I mean, although yeah. that is very satisfying, obviously. <laughs> but oh, how am I gonna do this? I just... Yeah. That was stupid. What are you going uh, for there? I was trying to figure out... I don't think I can jump high enough to get up there. But I, oh. guess I'll, I guess I'll give it a shot. No, I don't... I think the uh, thing that makes side-scrollers so appealing uh -huh. is that before the NES came out, when it was just Atari, yeah. the main goal of the system was to let you get high scores in the games. Right. And that's fine, uh -huh. but... Atari was meant to kind of simulate the arcade experience. Yes. And when you got a high score on an arcade machine, it was everybody that would come to that arcade that would have to beat your score. Right. When it was on Atari, as nice as Atari was and as classic as a system as it is, of a system as it is, uh -huh. it's only really the people who are going to play your copies of the game on your systems. Yeah, that's so, true. It's friends and family. I just... Oh, goodness. It's just a trick. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just your friends and family that are going to be competing, and that drastically, like, you know, it yeah. reduces the 
challenge pool, I guess. It doesn't for lack of mean a as term. much when your mom thinks you're cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I mean, I'm not trying to trash on Atari. I mean, it's or a moms. Yeah, or moms. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Hi, mom. <laughs> I'm not trying to, like, trash on Atari. I mean, uh -huh. it's a classic system. It has some really... Oh, jeez, oh. I need to stop talking. Oh. And it's some really good games on it. But, I yeah. mean, from what I can pull off the... Like, out of the hat is Indiana Jones and E.T. as uh -huh. being the games that you can actually finish. Right. And, I mean, it can definitely be argued that the high score thing adds replay value. Uh -huh. I fully agree with that. But in platformers... It's not just getting to the end of a level or beating the game like it is with yeah. a lot of other games. It's, I mean, I mentioned Super Meat Boy before. Right. Just think about that. It is, like, it's a goal to uh. get... What, just tink. <laughs> <laughs> it's a goal to just get from one platform to another in that game. Yeah, absolutely. And, I mean, games like this are just so challenging that... Getting to the end of the level is almost the least of your worries a lot yeah. of the time. Like, look at this. Uh -huh. How many times did I get stuck right there already? I mean, at it's, least twice. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh huh. But well, yeah, <laughs> and sorry, I mean, God. it's you're fine. Uh, it's a lot like we've talked in the past before about how uh, when I was younger and playing games like Sonic Adventure yeah. or you know things like that. Uh, where I would just play a single level over and over and over because oh, oh, honey, oh, I'm oh. not I'm not that good, but gosh darn it, I can play it a hundred times in a row and eventually finish. Yeah, for Sonic Adventure, yeah. you're talking about. Well, or for any kind of like platforming or uh, games that you're able to have multiple lives. Actually, I say that I'm thinking about why I would play Civilization. I probably played a hundred campaigns before I ever won a game. Yeah. And it's just, you know, that incremental improvement uh, really feels like something that you wouldn't get if you are just basing things off of a score. On, on score. Yeah. And, you know, I think that's why uh, Capcom stopped doing it. The first Mega Man on the NES uh -huh. actually did have a score system. You collected okay. these little orbs. Uh -huh. And after just the first game, that never appeared again. Oh. I don't think any other game, any other Mega Man game, had a scoring system after the first one. So, I mean, yeah, it's just, it's a goal. Just get it, like this part. Just getting my feet back on solid ground is a goal that I really want to achieve. And yes. I love Pac-Man, I love Galaga, I love uh, Space Invaders, stuff like that. Yes. But you just, it's not the same feel. Right. And I think that's why <laughs> games like this with actual goals are so appealing. And I mean, uh -huh. this Super Meat Boy, which I love, was just jumping. This yes. is jumping and shooting, so it adds a completely different dynamic. Oh my goodness, uh -huh. this is... Oh. Okay. I I know you're upset right now, but just just imagine. What if Super Meat Boy could shoot things? Oh, goodness. <laughs> I think there are a couple unlockable characters that shoot oh, things yeah? in that game, yeah. Oh, okay. So Super Meat Boy can't, but... Right. Jeez. Oh, I thought I... I thought I had his pattern down, but... Oh, this is... Not good. Oh. Oh, that's great. Uh. Okay, you can stop now. Uh... Ah, oh. alright. Actually, you know what? What? Let's see if Starman Shield hurts him. I forgot I have Starman Shield now. Oh, and yeah. I also have an energy tank. <laughs> because I'm not you're thinking. supposed to use things from bosses. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that hurts him. Wow. This is pretty much nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I don't even know what to say about that. I think in the original game, once the shield hit once, it disappeared. Well, but, good job. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Now it's the right character. And look, uh, he's throwing the sun. Is he not wearing a shirt? No, I think he's just wearing a different color shirt. He got a power that let him change his shirt <laughs> color is what happened there. I like to believe he's just out there wearing undies. Yeah, well, that's the way superheroes did it back then. Yeah. But anyway, those are the new levels in the 4.0 update of Mega Man 2.5D. It's fantastic. Go support the developers who care about Mega Man more than Capcom does. 
<laughs> and Ooh, yeah, getting incendiary here. Yeah, yeah, what now? What now, Capcom? Balls in your court. <laughs> but yeah, go look at the link in the description. Download the game. It's fantastic. It's just going to keep getting better. Uh -huh. uh, keep an eye out on the website for updates. And yeah, we'll hopefully be playing some co-op here pretty soon. So until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.